Stand by the fireplace. Follow me at all times. Make sure you're facing the desk. No one wants to see a butler with their back turned. Service at the ready. Music. The piano. I turn right and walk towards the orangery. I should discover who is playing. Surely not the lady of the house. Her mood is not so moonlit tonight. Walk, don't run. Ah, Miss Belshaw. She pauses. What a curious look she gives me. Quite unprofessional. I turn and walk down the stairs into the orangery. I shall stop in the middle and look down the stairs towards the kitchen, as if there were a whistle only I could hear. Carlyle always called me his faithful hound. But perhaps this dog has bite yet. I don't need to go down the stairs. Ah, talk of the devil. Carlyle's bell. It's that time. Go up the stairs into the bar. Stop by the humidor and select a fat Havana. How does the master secure such fine smoke in wartime? Now, to the drinks cabinet. Cognac. A double. Carlyle's mood has been dark this evening. I'll make that a stiff double. Right. Into the hallway. Right and left up the main staircase. Ah, mind out, Lillian. That maid almost sent me flying. Haste and speed. I shall have words. Carry on the stairs. Top of the stairs. Turn left towards the master's study. Listen at the door first. No. Nothing. No harumph from Carlisle. I could chance a knock. No. Carry on along the corridor. Stop at the end, in front of the Prime Minister's room. I turn left onto the spiral staircase. A cooey. From below. I go downstairs to investigate it. And at the bottom, I turn right, and then a whisper draws me immediately to my left. A womanly whisper, Miss Bowshaw. She draws me into the closet door, and she whispers in my ear exactly what she will do in exchange for one single name. The name of the actress who cavorted with Mr. Barton at the last gathering. Decidedly unprofessional, Miss Balshaw. <coughs> Carlyle's bell. Pick up my tray. Back to the spiral staircase. Done, but he's on the third floor. Lord. How this staircase shakes. I have been servant too long to an infirm master. Carlyle is a drunken sot, a lush, a coward, yes, and a murderer too. He has bought my silence for too long.
but yet still my commanding officer. Tormented by the black dog of his melancholy, cowering in his salon at the top of the stairs, one of these days this old yellow belly will take the only way out for his snivelling kind. He'll shoot himself down in flames. Or a smouldering cigar might just do for him. The top floor. Captain Carlyle, sir. Will that be all, sir? Thank you, sir. I shall retire.